Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment Pencil Edition. This one's a little bit different. We got something fun and exciting for you. A little bit different than this guy. So this is what I've been using to sharpen all the pencils and all the pencil videos uh, that you've watched so far. Hopefully, if not, go back and check them out. Yeah, thanks. Um, pretty good sharpener, but it does a few things that I don't like, and I think a lot of that is manual or human error. Um, let me see if I can grab... I came unprepared. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could scoot this out of the way real quick. Let's see if we can find one. That's a pretty recent one. Um, so you could see here how the first thing is right on the collar there, how it has that line. And that's from having to push the pencil in here to get it to sharpen the lead. So it makes a little line. This is all aesthetic stuff, not functional to my knowledge. So just bear with me <laughs> as I be super crazy about this. But there's that little line there. And the other thing you can kind of see on this pencil, it does it worse on some pencils. That little line right there at the tip of the lead goes around is from sharpening on the first setting. Uh, and it as it wears down the wood, it makes little rotations around the lead and just isn't aesthetically the coolest. I don't see any other ones that really stand. That one has another one, too. You can kind of see. There you go. Right here. And right here. And it'll dirty them up sometimes. Again, not the end of the world. I know I'm gri griping about stupid stuff, especially because it creates a great point and a decent price and fits in your bag, all that stuff. There's a lot of pluses about this, and I would still highly recommend it. But it was time for me to step up into the world of hand cranks, and I listened to the Erasable podcast, and they mentioned this. Uh, can't really find anything about it online, um, so I wanted to make a video to show you guys if it's any good, so that, that way if you do decide to purchase one, at least there's some point of reference for you to check out. And it is the pencil sharpener from Delhi, and it is the 0668 model number. Sweet memories, and you may have seen this lurking at like Urban Outfitters or something. Do not buy it there, as it is extremely overpriced. Uh, you know, check around online. You should be able to find it for a decent price. Uh, there's the back. A little information inside. You can see the back. Has some adjustment knobs. Top. My box came a little bit ripped. Yours probably won't. Not a big deal. Don't care, because the sharpener's fine. And the bottom. A little bit of instruction. And you can see to the left provides a nice pointy tip, and to the right provides a blunt tip, which I have been told is great for colored pencils. I will probably never use that setting, but it's nice to have. I have used the sharpener a couple of times already. There's a look at the inside for you. And, ooh, sweet memories, because, you know, it's a camera and it could take pictures, even though it can't. Uh, so let's shoot this over. So one of the main reasons I bought this was due to its ability to take larger diameter pencils. That's part of the reason you haven't seen me do any videos on those yet, because they do not fit in here. Bloop. Nope. No go. No go. So I did find one of these guys. Let's get that out of the way. Which I will make another video on uh, just because why not? Let's have it out there. Oh, maybe that's the... There you go. You can see the number there. Two holes, staple sharpener, you know, one for regular pencils and I'm assuming one for jumbo pencils. It doesn't explicitly say that because this is how I bought it, um, but these guys do fit in here, but <laughs> check out the awesome point that it makes. No, I did not hand sharpen this. It actually came from that. <laughs> so not exactly the best uh, option when it comes to fatter pencils. And this is a look at the mini jumbo, which I haven't even been able to use yet. I wanted to save this tip to show you guys online because it was just too good not to show you how bad that tip is. Um, so I haven't even written one of these yet, but I've heard good things, especially from the erasable guys, wanted to check it out. So that led me to this, because they said it makes great points and uh, cheap price, and it takes fat pencils. So, so far we're winning, right? And let's see, so here, I will sharpen a pencil in a moment, but just to show you the fat pencils, here's our Staples one, let's scoot this back. And I did sharpen the same pencil, same type of pencil, with this, and that's the point we get. Yeah, right? So is that? That alone, I think, is worth the price of admission, boys and girls. Not too shabby. 
Yeah. Makes me really excited to uh, start using these pencils. Look how thick that core is, too. That's awesome. But, yeah, I mean, that's just obnoxiously longer. And it doesn't have that nice little chunk where the blade stopped. Nice and smooth. Great job. Even has a little bit of a con convex, concave, convexness to it, which, like, the classroom friendlies and stuff do. Which, hopefully, I'll get one of those one day for my normal pencils, but this one will probably be used primarily for larger gauge pencils, but in the meantime, I'll also be using it for some non-large gauge pencils. Let's scoot this over to the side and take a look at the sharpener, and then we'll sharpen this guy and see how it does. So, we have the shavings drawer, which I said I've used a few times, so this is about three or four pencils worth of shavings. So, it seems like a pretty economical sharper sharpener. You can see, I mean, that's not too bad. I like the little viewing window so you can view, you can see my finger there, so you can view, you know, how your shavings are doing. And then on the bottom would be where there would be a table clamp, although uh, it does not come with one. No problem for me. Uh, nice little pad on the bottom there to keep it sturdy while you're sharpening. And up in the top, let's see if we can see that with the light, you can see the blade, kind of. There you go, peeking through. And one of the cool features that a lot of these tabletop sharpeners, I guess, is kind of hit or miss that they do, is this one does lock when you pull it out, which allows you to single-handedly push this guy in and insert your pencil, and then sharpen. Uh, so what this does, another good thing, that the Classroom Friendly is a great sharpener, but it has those metal teeth that just kind of eat your pencil. Maybe if I push this out, you can see those teeth in there. Kind of. No. A little bit. Yeah, sorry, they're not really showing up, but there you go. You'll see them move as I push that in. And those black little, like, half circles, there's three of them, uh, are what actually grip your pencil. So when you open this up, you slide the pencil in, and you let it go, and it holds it uh, so it can sharpen. So, pretty cool. Nice and quiet. You'll hear when I do a pencil, it's still pretty quiet. We have your adjustability on the back, so left is long point, right is blunt point, which, you know, color pencils and such. And yeah, pretty basic, not too huge, uh, you know, palm of the hand. Um, so a good size, you know, leave it at work or on your desk or whatever you want to do. But let's scoot it all the way to the right first, and we'll do that blunt point so you guys can see how that is. All right, we're there. And put this guy in. All right, now we just sharpen. And you can see it noise changes and it's not moving anymore, so it does stop as you're sharpening, which is also great, so it's not going to eat your entire pencil. And there you go. So I've also read that um, only pencils with super thick cores or colored pencils, this works well, so you can see it really does not work for uh, typical graphite pencils, which is okay, because like I said, I'm never going to use that again except for this time to show you guys. Um, so we're going to go all the way out. There is infinite adjustability between hard left and hard right. It does stop when it's done. So you'll see there, can't turn it anymore. But you can see it came out significantly more. Um, so anywhere in between there, you can kind of experiment with and see what works for you. I like the extreme long points. So let's sharpen it up the rest of the way. Pretty quick, you can see there, like I said, a pretty economical pencil sharpener. And there you go. Nice point, right? That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And uh, for in case anybody knows the erasable guys, they always talk about the Wopex, and I have not reviewed one yet, but it's supposed to be that plasticky composite material, and this is as well. And it's a super duper cheapy called the Stationery from Daiso. But there'll be a video for that later. So if you know those guys, tell them I found a cheap solution. But this is the 0668 sharpener by Deli. And I think it's awesome. I can't wait to use this even more, um, especially for jumbo pencils. I mean, good Lord, look at that. That is so much better. Um, so yeah, I dig it. You will too. I found it for like maybe 10 bucks on Amazon. So significantly cheaper. I think Urban Outfitters is like $30. I would not pay $30 for this, but for 10 bucks, it is a steal, even if it's like a second sharpener for you. So definitely check it out. Let me know if you do.
Let me know if you want to see some more sharpener reviews. Maybe I'll do a comparison between the ones that I have currently. And like I said, I plan on getting a classroom friendly at some point. Um, just doing a little more research on those before I pick one. I appreciate you stopping by. I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this channel together. And I look forward to seeing you soon.